Hello, this is Kate from dailytarotgirl.com, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this week's reading, I am going to be using the Spacious Tarot. Now, I just did a, an unboxing video of this deck the other day, and if you're interested in seeing this whole deck, I will put a link to that unboxing video in the description box below this video. So I'm doing my reading today in my cat foster room because I have a, uh, she's not a new foster. I've actually had her for almost a month now and she's right beside me and I'll show her to you. She's right here. <laughs> she's a little scared. So she was quite feral when I got her. She's about six or seven months old. Her name's Dahlia and <laughs> She actually has just come around like two days ago and she lets me pet her and she's so affectionate with me now. She looks scared right now, but that's just because she hasn't seen the camera before. Okay, so the first card is going to be for the beginning of the week. So Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. All right, here we have the Guardian of Cups. Now, this is a court card and the court cards have been renamed and I can't remember if Guardian is the Queen or the King. I think Guardian. I'm pretty sure that's the Queen. <laughs> Let me just quickly look it up because I don't want to mess. Yeah, it is. It's the Queen. Okay, so Queen of Cups. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups or Guardian of Cups for Monday and Tuesday. So what I'm getting from this card is that one thing that will serve you really well this week is to be flexible and fluid and tap into your empathetic side. So do more listening than talking this week, especially at the beginning of the week. So really notice this about yourself. Notice when you're having conversations with other people, especially if they're heated conversations or if you're discussing something that's really important. Notice if you have this tendency to want to jump in there and say your piece or defend yourself or whatever. And see if you can lean just a little more on the side of listening and really hear what that person is saying. Um, so the, the guardian or the queen of cups is the kind of woman who, or I should say just the kind of person who is all, would make a very good counselor. Like they're very good at listening and picking up on other people's emotions and feelings. What's interesting about this card is this is about being able to be empathetic. So to be able to pick up on other people's emotions and to be able to kind of relate to what's going on for other people without having their emotions overwhelm you. So there's a difference between empathy and then, you know, taking on someone else's emotions. That's kind of like the unhealthy side of empathy. So the Guardian of Cups is about being able to tap into your your feeling side, your empathetic side without uh, letting it completely overtake you. So then as we get to the middle of the week, so Wednesday, Thursday, ooh, we have the magician. I love it. All right. So the magician is about recreating your life this week. It's about manifestation and it's about making dreams come true. So bringing something that might be an idea or a vision for something and bringing it down into the material world and making it real, making it manifest in day-to-day in -day life. So I'm just going to give myself a moment here to gaze at this card because I feel like there's something else that wants to come through with this card. And as I'm doing this, I invite you to do the same. So have a look at the magician and there's you know a few symbols on this card so notice what symbol appeals to you the most the symbol that i'm drawn to here is the figure eight and this is um, also called an infinity loop 
And it's this idea of no endings or beginnings. Like and with an ending, there's a new beginning and it just kind of keeps repeating over and over for infinity. And it kind of reminds me a little bit about what I was saying in the beginning with the Guardian of Cups about being flexible and fluid this week. And let go of any fixed ideas you may have around endings and beginnings because everything is continuous. Everything's a journey. And I feel like the message with the magician is that you have the power to really focus this week on what is important to you. The things that need to be done or the things that need to be manifested, you're going to have a greater ability to hone in on those things and really focus and do what it takes to, to make those things real. Then as we get to the end of the week, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we've got strength. I love how this card is depicted as a cactus. All right. So strength is about, it's about being, I'm trying to think of the word. <laughs> I want to say succulent because cactuses, I don't know if cactuses are considered succulents or not. I have a lot of succulent plants and they're kind of like cactuses, but without the spiky things on them. And um, they're amazing because you hardly ever have to water them. Like I have one plant and it's been sitting in my kitchen windowsill and I think I went like three months or something without watering it. And it's just this little plant and it didn't die. It started to get like a little bit soft because normally succulents are kind of firm to the touch. It started to get a little bit soft. So I gave it a bit of water and it perked back up, but I'm like, wow, like it went months without any care, any water. Like it, it's amazing how they can survive on, on so little. And what I love about succulents is they, they always look so healthy. Like they look so succulent <laughs> and juicy and alive, yet they're subsisting on very little. Um, so anyway, so I, I love that the strength card is showing uh, a cactus because cactuses can survive, you know, out in the desert without hardly any water at all. And they, um, they do something like they, they contain the water within, and then I guess they just don't need a lot to, to survive anyway. Okay. So let's talk about the strength card and what it means for us this week. Um, I feel like the message here is that you are more resilient than you give yourself credit for. And you have what it takes to go the distance with things. And I think that this card relates to the magician and it relates to certain goals or dreams that you have that you are wanting to make a reality. And the message is that, you know, start now and start where you are. But take your time and look at this, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, look at this as a long-term thing, something that is for the long haul. This isn't a short thing. So it might take you a while to fully manifest whatever it is that you're wanting to, to bring into your life. But once you do manifest it, it's going to be something of quality that's going to be there for a while. Okay. Um... Hmm. Another thing that I'm getting with the strength card is that metaphor of the cactus and the cactus, it's almost like it, it provides for itself what it needs as opposed to always constantly needing things from its environment. So compare how a cactus or a succulent is compared to say like a flower, which is going to wilt and die if it doesn't get water every you know, day or every couple of days. Um, and, and think of, you know, a person who, well, even think of yourself and think of how, you know, you have certain needs and there are certain needs that you're able to give yourself, but sometimes you don't realize it. And so you go searching for those things in the outer world. You, you expect other people, you want other people to give you those things, or you, 
are hoping that through certain experiences you'll get your needs met. And there's so many things that you can give to yourself um, without... There's so many things that you can give to yourself that you don't realize. And if you realize this, you would be empowered because then you wouldn't be desperately seeking these things. You wouldn't be desperately waiting for someone else to give you these things that you that you need to thrive. So the challenge of the strength card for this week is to maybe even make a list or do a bit of journaling around the things that you need in your life to thrive. I know for me, it's, you know, playfulness, uh, um, adventure. I also like security and comfort, but there's a whole bunch of things that I that I need in order to really thrive. So make that list, think about those things, and then ask yourself how you can give those things to yourself this week. And yeah, that's the, that's the challenge for the week. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to look at these cards together and see if there's anything else I want to mention. Mm, one thing I notice is that here there's an abundance of water. So there's a fish and she's in a pond, tons of water with strength. It's a desert. There's no water, but there's, there's a cactus. So the water is within the cactus. It's contained. And, um, there's an interesting message here. I'm not sure how to interpret it, but there's an interesting message about containment and containing your feelings and your emotions. And at the beginning, I was saying how this week it's going to be important to to tune into other people's emotions. You'll know, be open, be empathetic, but be able to contain your own emotions, be able to have that boundary between your feelings your experiences and someone else's feelings and their experiences. That's going to allow you to be really effective in relationships this week. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this reading helpful. Um, if you like this reading, uh, please like and subscribe. I post these readings every week. And if you want to learn more about tarot cards, you can check out my website, dailytarotgirl.com. Now I'll put the link in the description box below this video. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a really good week.